Good morning, everyone. This is Sajin with you from the Doc Training Web Series. So today, I'll be explaining on how SharePoint search works based on your keywords. Um, so basically, whenever you type in a query into SharePoint search box, you're, you're going to get the results same like how you have in Google, right? Where the content matches the keywords that you have typed in. So have you ever wondered how it works? Um, I have two different situations on how the search works. I'm going to demonstrate it to you today. And um, when the keyword is type, it matches against the file name and also it does a deep search inside the file as well. So unless you have a scanned a page into the PDF and probably it's not going to pick up text unless you do an OCR, which means an optical character recognition. So that's what I'm going to demonstrate this uh, search right away. Uh, before that, what type of content is being searched? So any type of content which meets the criteria, like um, it includes basically the files, the events, documents, folders, contacts, web parts, tasks, page, or even your sites, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and do a search. So let's start with this situation one so basically searching your keyword basically from the root of the site now this is the root of the site as you see here uh, what we're using here is called product called doc now it's it's uh, ready to go internal portal which is powered by SharePoint online so I, I just thought of you know also introducing our product as well as you know I'm going to show you how the search is going to work uh, along with this solution so I'm going to search for sales. Now also you'll be able to streamline your search. So I'm going to make the search from here right away. I'm going to click on the search button. And this is from the root site, as I mentioned earlier. Now this is the keyword that I've searched for. And what happens here is when I do a search from the root page or the home page, my results are going to get populated from all the entire site basically so all your results from by default uh, it captures from the other site collections or URLs as well so as you see here you can also filter by you know everything people conversations or particularly this site right so by default I get the whole bunch of data I mean the information from the entire site so if you see here I have the SharePoint site here that's the first one that's been displayed over here I get a screenshot and these are the documents. Again, this is a site. Right, so I have everything over here, including the documents and the SharePoint sites. Uh, if I want, I can also do a, I can basically streamline my search based on the category. So I can click over here and then I can streamline my search. I can narrow my search basically. I can also change the result type. So based on the file type, I can do my search again and also based on the authors and the modified date, right? So this is one situation or scenario uh, how your search works from the root site. Um, the next thing is basically how to do a search from, let's say, okay, I'm going to go to sales. Okay, this is one site collection. And I'm going to say search from here. Here you go. So my search is confined to this particular site collection or uh, now I search for sales inside of the sales portal. So my search is confined to this particular site collection. And also I can again click on various other factors. Now this is selected as everything. So if I click on people, it's going to make a search on that. Here you go. So it's actually picking up the values from my Delve of this Microsoft Delve right here so it's actually picking up the values from here or uh, the information from here I'm sorry and again if I click on conversations it's gonna pick up from my news feeds Yammer news feeds or you know I have um, discussion boards so it's gonna pick up the values from there and if I click on videos it's gonna search for yeah exactly right so whatever videos I've uploaded it within my site collection it's gonna display over here right so that's how my search works
So now there's another question that may arise where, for example, uh, my name is Sajik. Now my search is going to look different from my colleagues search results. Now, how does that happen? Now, let's say I'm part of the sales team and my colleague is part of the projects team, right? So when I'm going to search for something on projects, I, I may not, I, I may not be able to see the results just because the search like how we have the navigation, it's, it's also permission driven, right? So it's based on the permissions, the search also acts accordingly. Now, which means your results are only presented from the sites which you have at least a read-only access to those sites, right? If you're not gonna have that, the search is not gonna populate for you. And probably the next question would be, you'll be will you be able to do a wildcard search? Yes, you will be able to do it. You just have to use a star for a wildcard search. Now, for example, okay, so let's do it this way. Here you go, so I did a wildcard search. Now what happens is my search will return as report. I have reproduced, replacement. So I just have put REP and a star, right? So let's say if your, your colleagues are confused with the, whole, whole, the keyword or something like that, what they can do is they can go with the wildcard search and then they can basically find out the information what they're looking for. So here, for an example, REP star, I get a, a, a sales report, I get reproduced and I have replacement. So this is how my search using a wildcard character. So that's it uh, for today. Uh, this is what I wanted to discuss about. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, we'll be coming up with more and more videos in the coming days. So stay tuned. Have a great day.